Hello guys. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm gonna show you how to create trigger to prevent the data delete from the other user. Okay. In my database, I have student with can evening and I choosing table called student. You will see in data here. Select star from student. You can see here student. Okay, I'm gonna show you the data here. Okay, you can see all the wise ID. Okay, you can see here. My table is you can delete. You can delete delete from student where student where ID equal number 16 okay let's see we can execute okay control of it it's mean that the student number 16 already delete from the table student you can select it again if you can okay the student number 16 already delete from our database so if you want to prevent the delete from the other event delete in the table you can say you need to create trigger okay the real purpose of trigger is to prevent or protect protect the table okay now I gonna show you the how to create trigger to prevent the delete from the other event in the student table. Okay, I gonna show you. Let me create a new query. Okay, you can see here. I gonna zoom in. Okay, here I gonna show you how to create trigger. Create trigger trigger name tg from trigger prevent delete delete on student for instead of delete as rise errors you need to be active trigger trigger I'm gonna copy this one copy and pass here sorry okay and then post the to the screen roll back then check turn return okay I'm gonna show you I need to execute to create this trigger. Okay, there is a error. Oh, okay. Okay. It's error for four. We need to execute again. Okay. Command complete successfully. Okay, you can see here. Okay, this means that we have created the trigger to prevent the data delete. Okay. You you go to our table student and select it again. You can select it. You can execute. Okay, you can see here that time. Let me just scroll down. Sorry. Okay, in here you have student number fifteen. Okay, 
Now I go, I go to the, the student that has the 15 in here. You can see here, number 15. Okay. I gonna select this statement with that I want to delete the student number 15 from our table. So I gonna execute. Okay. You can see here. Hey, hey, hey. yeah, you can see here. You need to the two the active trigger TG prevent delete from table. So can they can delete this one? Okay. You can see here the, this trigger called TG prevent delete when we create the trigger we want to prevent the user or other guy who go our database and delete off data in our table so you need to create trigger to prevent by using this formula one okay let's see here the keyword to create trigger keyword trigger name on on it's express to which table that you want to this trigger prevent okay instead of instead of mean that before you delete instead of delete it mean that before you delete you need to check you need to execute this trigger mean that when you delete the data this trigger so you you need to deactivate the trigger just can delete it means that you cannot leave data in the table student because the trigger is prevent our table student. So, right arrow is the message alert in here in this screen that we want to prevent this table. Here, the, the well type of the message arrow line and and here row by transition it means that the transition cannot complete and return the trigger okay conclusion conclusion this is the keyword create this is the trigger keyword this is the trigger name on on keyword to then table that we want to use or create the trigger instead of the keyword instead of is the keyword that we want to protect even that happen you can just select update insert but they are not recommend just delete or update is common using as per the statement plus error is the alert message that when you execute the delete this error will be shown in the screen and here the return okay you can see it's again this message will be appear into the screen okay you can try it okay i gonna say here the database that we have the table okay here the data however you want to delete the student number two Okay, student number two, you can execute. Yeah, this alert message already show in here. You need to be active trigger TG prevent delete. So you can create. Okay, this one you cannot create. Delete the data in the table in here. As you can see here, this is the trigger. This is the error message that show on here. Okay. So, if you want to allow this, the actual statement to delete the table, you go to table and click on trigger and select on trigger, right click choosing disable okay cannot request okay mean that this trigger cannot so you need to 
drop. Oh, by default you can disable the trigger. And about to issue the quick command, a time or two, to propagate. Okay. 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 I understand. You can delete. Okay. We need to delete this trigger. Okay. It cannot be deleted. So, how can we delete? We go to this goal. You cannot. This not this is on the server. Oh, it means that you need to reset on this trigger. Okay, so you can disable. Think was easy. Okay. You can disable this trigger. Sorry. So if you want to delete it, you can select first. You can select. Okay, you can see here. The student number 15 is already so I want to delete number 16. I'm gonna execute. Okay. One of a tip means that the student ID number 15 already delete from the table student you can see the data okay the number 15 is already deleted but if you want to this trigger don't allow the deletion then you can to enable okay i want to delete student number 14 so you cannot yes you cannot delete this trigger, this table the time is well, okay thank you for your watching my video this is my new video for to create the trigger to prevent the data delete from other user okay thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe sorry subscribe to get more video thank you